the main purpose of this app is for pupils to learn about the moon phases. In order to achieve this objective, uh, the app uses the accelerometer and the compass sensor to measure the viewing direction and elevation angle of the smartphone. Uh, in this case, we can see an example of the accelerometer sensor being used as an interface. The user moves the device in order to make the target uh, select the next node in this binary tree. This case is a clear example of providing a gamification sources to this app. Another interesting uh, finding was the association between sensors. We suspect uh, that the reason is because they recover complementary data. And having said that, let's move on the discussion section. Uh, what are the technology challenges? From our point of view, the main technological challenges are those that you can read on the slide. If we talk about the accelerometer sensor, the GPS sensor, or the gyroscope sensor, um, to implement this sensor into app, some knowledge about programming is needed. The development of apps using sensor would be made easier if we could limit the technological challenges. Some uh, smartphones are still expensive. Making a blurring environment more universal, for example, the Wi-Fi connection not always works properly in the countryside, in the city, in different places. And what about the pedagogical challenges? Well, it's a well-known fact that smartphones have had bad press in recent years um, as a result of misuse by students and a lack of information about its benefits among teachers. The size of the screen uh, being too small is another pedagogical challenge that needs to be resolved through, for example, the use of multimodal interface. The idea of learning anywhere suggested by the end learning uh, could raise issues concerning privacy. In conclusion, I would like to say that the accelerometer sensor is usually used as support and or contextualization of the device and the user. In some cases, to facilitate interaction through multimodal interfaces in order to capture data which provide information regarding the context. A possible follow-up to this research, given the continuous technological advances, could be a revision and update of scientific publication that address this topic. The measurements generated by the accelerometer sensor can detect text input sequences through the device keyboard. This could mean, for example, the ability to recognize security passwords. Some articles have shown that the logged data from the accelerometer sensor can be used for recognizing people by placing the device in the hip of the user. So, it's appeared that the accelerometer sensor sees beyond learning environments. Then, it is possible to broaden the scope of this research for future works beyond this environment or apply this new possibility to unlearning. That's all. Thanks for your attention. Thank you.